Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, hello. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we are doing something really fun. I'm gonna step outside of my comfort zone and do a hairstyle. I'm not really big into like trying new, like I'm, I don't mind trying new hairstyles, but when it comes to like in-depth detail, like braidings up in the front and then like the back is wash and go, like I don't really get into that, but Tonight is late night with my husband, so we are going to try something fun, something funky, something new. And we are also going to be including rubber bands. And for today's products, I'm going to be using the Amica Intensive Hydro Rush Leafy Conditioner. Pattern Beauty as my styler products. The Aunt Jackie Braiding Gel to do the braids in the front. I'm going to go ahead and put a picture on the screen right now of my hair inspiration. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started. I do count this as kind of like a medium to easy style because I am aware that a lot of people don't know how to scalp braid or do any sort of like braiding design. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can swap that out for flat twists. I will be eventually making a video on how to do flat twists and scalp braids uh, to the scalp eventually, so stay tuned for that. I am particularly excited about this hairstyle because I don't think I've been inspired by her style in a very very long time so for this one i figured it was pretty easy something easy to get my hands wet to start doing more hairstyles um for this particular hairstyle you see right now i'm just splitting my hair literally in half like the width of my head i'm going in the middle of that and going right across to the other side um i'm gonna pin back the part that's gonna be wash and go i'm just gonna put that in little silk scrunchies and save that away for later things I want to make sure I had um, on point for this part of the braiding is the parting. I will say that parting plays a big role when it comes to braiding because if your parts not straight, if your parts are not right, it's going to be a big problem. Um, so I just honestly just continue to braid. You guys will watch. I really can't explain this at the moment, but as you can see, one side came out really T already and now it's time to see the other part. I'll let you guys just sit and watch. I did want to also mention that I did use rubber bands for this style. It is really rare that I put rubber bands in my hair, but I will be filming a video on how to safely re remove rubber bands when it's time, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I don't think I showed it early in the video, but yes, rubber bands is a part of this hairstyle. That's what I use to secure the braid at the end. Thank you. 
brightening gel that i'm using is by aunt jackie's it's by their new collection the Bray and twist collection um so if you were just interested in wondering what that was that is exactly what i'm using these are all the brights completed i am 1000 percent satisfied i love it so freaking much and if you're wondering the oil that i'm using this is rosemary oil rosemary oil is honestly the only oil i really intentionally put in my scalp it's very soothing um it, really, it helps with regrowth and stimulating those hair follicles in case you know you may have any bald spots or any weak points in your hair um rosemary is your best friend now that i'm done with the braiding part of my hair this took all of like 30 minutes i would probably say 25 30 minutes now it's time to start on the wash and go for the wash and go portion, I did use a Pattern Beauty mousse and styling custard like I showed you guys earlier. But if you have your typical go-to wash day combo that you like, this is what you would use for your hair. Um, you just make it, you know, fit your typical routine. This is actually a new combo that I'm trying. I've never used these products on my hair together. I had used the mousse once, but this is my first time using the custard, period. Um, I did try this combo on my husband's hair. My husband has very, very looser textured hair than I do. I would say that he's more 3C, 4A on his hair. It's some portions maybe like 4B. It just depends. He, he has a lot looser texture than I have. But I'm starting to notice that certain brands make certain products for the hair texture that the brand is based off of. So, for example, this brand is by Tracy Ellis Ross. And I just feel like these products work better on looser texture than tighter textures, in my opinion. I did put a picture and video on the screen of this exact combo used on my husband's hair. You can see his curls look amazing. And so does mine. But I do want people to be more realistic with the products that they buy. Because I know some people are like, oh my gosh, like I bought these products by Tracy Ellis Ross. I bought these products by TMR. I bought these products by Rent Fenty. I bought these products by Beyonce. Da -da -da whoever the case, and they expect their hair to come out the way that it is marketed um, on the models, but you have to be realistic with the performance of products and the hair texture of whom it was created by. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense, because I feel like I just did a whole mouth spill of words, but I hope if you're following me, you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I want people to be more mindful, and so do I need to be more mindful of how my hair could possibly turn out if I'm using certain products by certain brands. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I hope so. Anywho, let's carry on with the wash and go. I think it's coming out pretty well. I'm liking it a lot. I am mixing both those products in together with my leave-in conditioner. I, for now on, when I do wash and goes, I have to use a leave-in conditioner. Honestly, that's period. When I do my hair, anytime I have to pretty much use, um, a leave-in conditioner because I have high porosity hair and my hair tends to get drier a lot more easier than normal um, which means that my hair can break off easier which means my hair can just produce split ends and fairy knots etc a lot easier so it is very mandatory for me to use a leave-in conditioner before anything if you're wondering um, let me know down in the comments right now if you're liking this wash and go comment down below right now you see the curls, you see the juiciness, what you thinking?
this combo a lot it's not my favorite combo but it's a good one i do suggest anyone who has not tried a new wash and go combo you should definitely try this one i'm now going to go put the mousse on my braids just to kind of set it i'm going to use my um scarf silk scarf everything that i mentioned that i use in my hair just remember it's always silk when it comes to some sort of texture or fabric um just spread the mousse all over put the scarf on there wrap it for about i think i have this on there for at least 15 minutes um and then blow dry pretty much Thank you. 
so I'm at the end of my routine and I have the Amika Water Sign Hydrating Hair Oil. I'm gonna just put that on my hair. I went ahead, I don't know if you can tell, but I just fluffed my hair and I stretched it um, so it can have some volume and some length. I used my Timo Air Hype to stretch my hair. That's why it looks pretty elongated. Um, and I love my hair so freaking much. Like, this is tea. This is good, this is good. because everything I'm saying in this video right now I literally just told you guys regarding the products earlier so just scratch what I'm trying to say right now I just wanted to check in and say that I am done with my hairstyle I honestly really 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 love this hairstyle a lot and it really inspires me to try more hairstyles um, because the girls they want more natural hairstyles and I'm willing to do them like honestly this is your sign to go on Pinterest and look at random natural hairstyles and pick one and challenge yourself to do it because that's exactly what I did with this exact one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't for like to don't for don't for like don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the time that y'all put into giving me watch hours, the likes, the comments, all of that. I, I really appreciate it. And it's really nothing but God, this channel is constantly growing. Just know that I am going to continue to pump out these videos and we are going to grow, y'all. Mark my words. I will see you guys with another video soon. Mwah!